news. Elvis Presley, the king of popular music, is dead at the age of 42. The undisputed king of rock and roll, Elvis Presley, is dead. He died this afternoon here in his adopted hometown of Memphis after apparently collapsing at his South Memphis mansion. And the mayor has ordered all flags in the city to be flown at half staff. This is Channel 7's Eyewitness News, tonight with Fahey Flynn, Joel Daly, Bill Frank, Steve Edwards, and a special report by Jay Levine. Elvis Presley is dead at 42, possibly of a heart attack, an autopsy reveals tonight. Memphis, Tennessee is in mourning. Tonight, thousands of fans are reported gathered around this palatial mansion. The Memphis Telephone Company reports total overtaxing of its lines. Pandemonium has broken out here on Elvis Presley Boulevard in Memphis. Thousands of fans from all over the country are converging on Graceland, trying to get in to view the body of the 42-year-old king of rock and roll. The world is shocked by Elvis Presley's sudden death after attempts to save his life failed. The apparent cause, according to his personal physician, Dr. George Nicopoulos, is a heart attack. The singer's father, Vernon Presley, has requested that an autopsy be performed. Why, did, why go to all this trouble? Because we love Elvis. We still do. You're not going to get in, you know. Doesn't make any difference. There's nobody else like him. There won't ever be anybody else like him, as far as I'm concerned. I just can't believe he's dead. It's terrible. Elvis Presley was the first, and probably the foremost, in popular music. But tonight on Radio Luxembourg, we have to inform the world that he no longer exists on our planet. Tonight on Luxembourg, we feature nothing but Elvis till closed down at quarter to four. Presley's show business friends, as well as his legions of fans, are mourning tonight. Sammy Davis Jr. was asked how the performer would rate on a scale of one to ten. Well, he's got to be 11, babe. And I'm not saying that because of the, the tragedy of the moment, but because anybody in this business of ours that can become one of a kind, he's the, the one, the only, the original. Everybody else is an imitator. It came after him. Elvis Presley almost single-handedly turned rock into the most popular music expression of the young. Tonight in Memphis, Elvis died, and a generation of people cared. It's 629, it's WMAQ Chicago. I'm Dennis Day with Rick Elliott and uh, Jay Marks. Say it one more time, as much as it hurts, Elvis Presley died today. There are many uh, superlatives linked with his name, the greatest and the king. Um, but probably the most important thing is that each person listening, and all of us here, uh, Elvis had an effect, an important effect, on each one of our lives. And what more can you say about an individual? He'll be remembered for many, many years. But you remember when President Kennedy died, years later people said, do you remember where you were when you first heard the news that Kennedy was dead? Remember where you are now. Because if you're feeling like me in a deep state of shock, then in a few years from now you will remember that you were listening to the first radio station in Europe to ever play Radio Luxembourg's number one star. Elvis Presley. Oh, I wish I was in a land of cotton. Old times are all not forgotten. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland. Sing it, fellas. Oh, I wish I was in Dixie. Dixieland, it's where I was born. Early Lord, one frosty morn. Look away, look away, look away, Dixieland.
little baby, don't you cry. You know your daddy's bound to die. But oh. Oh.